Hi guys, James from DBG and welcome to another unboxing. This is the rather special unboxing I was talking about in the previous video. So, this looks like your standard Flames of War starter set. So why does it have Chinese on it? This is because this is the Chinese starter set, specifically made in combination with uh, Battle for themselves and uh, the shop that sells it, Blitz Minis, for the Chinese and Asian market, which is why it's also to do with the Eastern Front, not the Western Front, because the Eastern Front is there's more focus on the Eastern Front over in the East than there is for us in the West when we focus on the Western Front mainly. Anyway, so uh, before I crack this thing open, a um, couple of things I need to say. First of all, there seems to be a bit of a discrepancy between the list of the contents on Blitz Mini's website and the list of the contents on um, Flames of War official website. Um, it boils down to one platoon of Germans and one tank. But if you look at the back of the box, which we'll look at in a minute, it kind of says what's in the box because obviously the Chinese use the same Arabic numbers that we use. So you can sort of work out what's in the box. So um, I'm not wholly sure what I'm going to get on the German side, but yeah, we'll, we'll open up and see. The other thing is, um, I ordered this from Singapore. Now the box itself retails for $80, 80 Singapore dollars. At the exchange rate when I bought it that works out around 40 45 pounds which is about 10 to 15 pounds no it's about 10 pounds more than the um hit the beach starter set is in this country so not too bad not too bad but you then add on the cost of shipping they only had one type of international shipping and it was dhl express guaranteed in one to five days which cost almost as much as the box so i recommend if you guys are interested in this take that into consideration before you order luckily i've just been paid for a commission so it wasn't a problem and this, the miniatures inside, well, it's um, it's still a good deal, even with the posters added on. It's not as much of a deal as it would be, like the standard <coughs> company loss leader that these things are. But it's still okay. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. So, before I crack it open, let's have a look. Now, obviously, this is called the Liberation. So it's late war, um, Eastern Front, as you tell by the contents. And if you look at the front of the box, the artwork is the old cover of the book. Um, I think it's Red Bear, or was it Grey Wolf? Is it Red Bear or Grey Wolf? I can't remember which one it is. No, it's Grey Wolf. And there's more stuff on the sides. It's all the same. All in Chinese. Now on the back. Obviously this is where you'd have all the list of contents. In English. But obviously this is in Chinese. So. I don't know that. But you can. Glean. Something of this. So. There's a tiger. I know for a fact there's two tigers in here. There's some ISU 122s. I know there's two of those in here. There's an IS2. I know there's three of those in here. There's some German infantry. I know there's at least one platoon of German infantry in here. And there's some Soviet infantry. I know there's at least one company or platoon, depending on your uh, reading of the um, Soviet organisation. There's one company of Soviet infantry in here. And right at the bottom, you've got SU-76s, a Pac-43, and a Puma. Now, 
If I go over here, we have the contents here. So there it says one. Then under here it says 21. So I'm guessing that's one platoon consisting of 21 miniatures. Where on the Blitz Minis website it says two platoons. So, who knows? And then we've got two pack 43s, two, I have no idea. So I'm guessing that's the Tigers. I'm guessing that's the Pumas, because there's two Tigers and two Pumas. Now in here, I think that's the two Maxim guns, of which there are six miniatures, it would make sense. That's the one Soviet Infantry Company, 36 miniatures, makes sense. And there's three IS-2s, your three IS-U-152s, and your three SU-76s. So already you can see the Soviet force is, from a points perspective, going to be much more than the German force. So, let's crack this open. I've been waiting a long time for this, but I have been working on a commission, so I wanted to leave the cellophane on and do it all like this. So, yeah. Oh, I'm getting a new box smell already. Oh, that's so good. Right, so. Let's open her up. See what we get. Oh. Yes, right. So what do we have? So here's the German infantry by the looks of it. Or is that all the infantry? Oh, it's all the infantry. We'll open that in a minute. I was expecting these cards to be in um, Chinese, but they're not, they're in English. Cool. I was going to put those on eBay, but I won't have to. Right, there we have the gun crews and the tank crews. We have some dice, some red and grey dice. Two pack 43s. One. Oh, oh that's not good. Three IS two holes. The IS two lower holes. IS one five two. And another lower hole. And another lower hole. So that all adds up. Then we have the two Puma, the two Tigers, all your bases, some German tank crew, and then three SU-76s. That's, that's a bit of sprue. And in here we have, ah yes, this is the special edition Otto Canaris. Um, figure that they've produced specifically for this box set. Now, if you don't know who Otto Canaris is, he is a Tiger Ace, mainly on the Eastern Front. He did come over to the Western Front um, during um, the Battle of the Bulge, I believe. He um, commanded a company of Yag Tigers, tank destroyers, and thought they were absolutely awful. So, yeah. So he is a limited edition figure. I don't know if there's any rules for him, but he's cool to have. Then we have the Quick Star Guide, all in Chinese. But it's a standard one you'll get in, um, God, Hit the Beach. And then we have the assembly instructions. Again, all in Chinese, but it doesn't matter because the pictures are all self-explanatory. Yeah, there is indeed just one German platoon. Okay. So, put the box down there. Oy. 
And let's have a look at some of these miniatures. Some of these I have never seen before, so I am going to look at most of them. I have seen the Puma before, but I haven't seen the Battlefront Tiger. So that's where we're going to start. So, if you're focused, there we go. The top hole, side hole. Yeah, this one does have Zimmerit on it, as you can tell. Zimmerit was the uh, magnetic paste they put on on the, on the German fighting vehicles to uh, stop magnetic mines sticking to it. But they soon stopped doing it because the Germans were the only ones who were using magnetic mines. So yeah, there we go. And there's the uh, interleaved road wheels. Yeah, that's good. Battlefront goodness. Now the Pack 43, which I believe is the same gun that was in the uh, either in the Tiger or the uh, yeah the Tiger 2. So really huge high velocity 88 millimeter anti tank gun. And as you can see, standard Battlefront excellence there. I'm going to get two of those. Now, there's German artillery crew, it's standard. You get loaders for all the German guns. So there's ones with 88 millimeter shells. There's one with never worth shells. There's one with, looks like um, 75 millimeter pack. 40 shells, yeah, standard. Then we got the German gunners. Now these are resin. So you're gonna need super glue these in. These are the gunners that sit on the side of the uh, Pack 43. And then we have the crews with the SU-76s. We go. And the SU 76 is unusual because it's used in both tank hunting roles and fire support roles. So the uh, 76 millimeter gun is also used as um, mobile artillery, which is quite unusual. Right now we have the infantry. So we have two sprues of. Germans and two sprues of Russians. German sprue. Which is very similar to the um, stuff you find in Hit the Beach and Open Fire. You know what, I reckon you could get two platoons out of that. Yeah, I think you could. We'll check. And then here's the Soviet ones. Now, I've not seen these Soviet ones before. So there's the uh, Soviet support panel. I think it's a DP-28 or DPT-28. There's the Maxim. They've got loads of normal rifle guys. Throwing grenades. Officers with PPSH 40s, the Tokarev, and then, then we have a Commissar. And there's two sprues of those. Now on to the Puma, which as you can see has multiple options. You can have the one with the, um, the Pack 40 in, you can have the 2341, which is the one with the um, 20 millimeter cannon and the coax machine gun. You can have the one with the Stummel, and you can have the standard Puma. Then here's the SU 76. Focus, focus, focus. So it's a cool little kit, not that many parts, 
it requires you to build. And I said there's three of those. And we have an awful lot of holes for the ISUs and um, IS2s. As you can see, there's fuel tanks, these are the running gear and tracks, the lower hull, the spare tracks, and the 12.7mm anti aircraft machine guns. So there's enough of those. And there we have the ISU hull top. It either comes with the 122mm gun or the 152mm gun. The 122mm gun is better at taking out armour, but the 152mm gun is better at taking out infantry and fortifications. So yeah. So I'm, just, I'm still in the process of sorting it out. And then here we have the IS-2. This comes with two guns. You have the 122mm, which has a devastating effect, but a really slow rate of fire. Or you have the 85mm, which is the same as the T-34-85. Um, but it gives you more shots that aren't quite as devastating, but it's still can still punch for a tiger quite easily so yeah choices choices I think that's everything the only thing, the only thing we haven't had a look at is the German tankery but everyone's seen all that before so there you go do I think oh, let me just find the book do I think this is there we go you can look at that do I think this is worth the money I spent on it? Definitely. Definitely, as I said, it wasn't as good a deal as it would do if I bought it in this country, because in this country it probably would only be £35. Um, but combined with the exchange rate and the postage, it was about double that. So that's about the same price range as a starter set from World of Games. Obviously, can't really compare our Games Workshop because they have three tiers of starter sets. Um, things like um, Star Wars, is it Star Wars Battlefront or Star Wars Legion? Star Wars Legions, that starter set is £120. Admittedly, you get a luck load of stuff in that, but it's 120 quid. And again, with um, the Game of Thrones ones, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. That one again, it's about 120 quid. So, in that grand scheme of things, it's good. It's a good, nice set. There is two forces that are, I would say, not that well balanced. The Soviet force is probably about 15 points more than the German force. But... There's still two usable forces in there, and it's a very good way of getting you into the game from a different perspective than the one we have over here in the West. Like we tend to concentrate on D-Day. Like the first the limp one that we have over here, here at the beaches, is about D-Day. The one before Open Fire was about Arnhem. So this one being about the Eastern Front, specifically towards the end of the Eastern Front, I think is rather cool. So, tell me what you think in the description. Do you think I made a mistake buying this? I'm sure you'll tell me on the, in the comments. Um, one thing I didn't mention, there's no decals in this set, just like there are no decals in the um, Open Fire and Hit the Beaches set. I'm okay. I have lots of decals. If you don't have decals, it could be a problem. A lot of the German stuff does, uh, doesn't have decals on anyway. Um, a lot of the Tigers didn't have identification numbers or, or the cross on. Some did, some didn't. It was down to the unit. But 
Soviet stuff, yeah, definitely does look better with um, decals. Anyway, ramble over. So as usual, do check out the, uh, the links in the description. Stand stuff for sponsors and affiliates, um, Goblin Gaming, Patreon, etc, etc, etc. There's social media links in there. Do check us out on social media. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you next time.